In this video, I will talk about how we can create a graph of the security market line, otherwise known as the SML. You may also have heard of this called the Capital Asset Pricing Model or the CAPM. So what we're going to do is create the security market line. And the data that we need for this includes the following. We need a risk-free asset. We need we don't necessarily need, but we'll have two other assets, X and Y. And then we need the market or the market portfolio. So we're gonna let beta range from zero to 1.5 and in increments of 0.5. The expected return, let's let that be 5%, which is not too far off from current markets. Uh, in U.S. markets in terms of uh, treasuries towards the uh, uh, third quarter here in 2023. The market, let's suppose that the market portfolio is going to return to us 11%. So to determine what the expected returns are for stocks X and Y, X having a little bit less risk at a beta 0.5, Y having a little bit more risk in the market at 1.5, we'll use the following formula. So we'll do equal the risk-free rate and make sure that is anchored plus the current beta, so in this case x is beta is 0.5, multiplied by the difference between the market expected return that's in cell D4, make sure that is anchored minus B4 and it will be anchored again. So the formula is the risk free rate plus beta of the asset multiplied by the difference in the market return and the risk free rate. And that's otherwise known as the market risk premium, this portion here that is in uh, the parentheses. And then I'm going to copy this formula and paste it over here for Y and it should get you 14%. So now what we can do to graph this, we'll highlight all the data here. And let's go to insert. And I'll do a recommended chart. And this line chart's a pretty good start. I'm going to change the chart title to be SML. And let's add some chart elements. Let's add some axes uh, titles here. So down here we have our beta. And then here we have our expected returns. So that is our chart, line chart for our security market line or CAPM, using the data provided here and the formula. Thanks for watching.